Well, the series advantage goes in favor of the Edmonton Oilers after a Game 3 win here tonight in Edmonton as we welcome you into Game Over. It was a scoreless first period, a well-played first period on both sides. Goaltenders turning away every shot they faced, including Jacob Markstrom, who made 21 saves in that first period and a couple of the really good varieties. So into the second period we go, but it was an Oilers goal in the first minute. 52 seconds in, Zach Hyman finishes off a three-on-two rush. He's got four goals in this series already, an early one nothing lead in favor of the Oilers and then came the Evander Kane show who scores a natural hat trick in the span of six minutes. In fact, Leon Dreisaitl assists on all four Edmonton Oiler goals in that middle frame. Connor McDavid once again three assists and sets up two of Evander Kane's hat trick and uh, that was the storyline in this hockey game. Some odd man rushes for the Edmonton Oilers in that second period. It leads to goals and eventually a 4-0 lead in this hockey game. Jacob Marshall would come out. Dan Vladar would come in to make his Stanley Cup playoff debut for the Calgary Flames in the third period. He would turn away all the shots he faces in the third and some nice pushback for the Calgary Flames in that third period also leads to a goal. Oliver Shillington scores his first Stanley Cup playoff goal. That would break the Mike Smith shutout and by the way there was a collision in this hockey game as well. Milan Lucic forechecking trying to give chase. Mike Smith comes out to play the puck and keeps it in behind the goal line. They would collide. Uh, Milan Lucic given a five minute game misconduct uh, and he was out of the game. Smith would leave but then return. Uh, he ends up getting the win here though tonight as the Calgary Flames fall 4-1 the final. The good news is they get another chance to go right back at it and steal home ice right back with a victory in game four. The same situation they were in in round number one against the Dallas Stars trailing 2-1 after three games. Game number four goes right back here at Rogers Place on Tuesday.